Today, I'm going to share with you my brand new art supply haul from Blick Art Materials. Uh, we're going to open up together everything that's inside this box, as well as one larger box. I'm really excited to share this haul with you because it's a really good variety of some of my favorite art supplies that I use over and over again, as well as a few new things that I've never tried before. So let's go ahead and open these boxes. Okay, up first we have one of the most important art supplies that I use, and that's the wood panels that I paint on. Um, so a lot of my smaller pieces, I use these. These are 11 by 14 uh, birch wood panels. They come five to a pack. Um, they're an eighth of an inch wide, and they're really, really inexpensive, which is uh, one of the reasons I love them so much. I'll show you what this looks like outside of the package. This is just one of them. Um, sometimes they come like totally covered in sawdust, you kind of have to brush them off a bit. They usually have a few little imperfections on them, but honestly that's kind of part of the beauty of painting on wood. You kind of get some of the wood grain to come through, and I think it adds a little extra just personality to the finished piece. Um, and then to hang these, um, you definitely could just frame it as is. Or what I've been doing lately, I'll show you one of my finished pieces here. So. I kind of like to create this floating effect on the wall. I'll get a separate cradled panel. Um, you can buy these really cheap as well. Glue it on the back, and then I'll put the D-rings in the wire here. Um, and it just, it creates this really cool floating effect. I think it makes a really nice finished piece. Okay, up next we have a new material I haven't tried before. Uh, these are premium gessoed hardboards. This is another 11 by 14 panel, just like the, the birchwood panels, but this is a much smoother, um, obviously clean white surface. I've used something similar. If you've seen the, um, the ovals I painted last year, those were also um, a white cardboard and I really, really enjoyed painting on them, so I kind of wanted to try it again. I bought six of these, so I'll probably do a couple series of three paintings. Um, and we'll see, maybe it's time to transition to a new material. Okay, speaking of ovals, I have been super obsessed with painting ovals in the past few years. I bought a lot of different sizes and materials of oval panels. Uh, I even cut some of my own to fit some frames that I had. Uh, so I thought I'd try again. I got these guys. These are cradled birchwood panels again. Um, you can see the back there, they're 7 eighths of an inch thick. Um, they weren't super cheap considering the size, but uh, they're super cute. And I got three of them, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on them yet, but I'm really excited. Okay, and then the last new painting service I have here, this is a 30 by 30 cradled birchwood panel, um, and this is Perfect. There are no imperfections on this. Um, you can see the back here. It's super beautiful. These are not cheap. I think these are $70 a piece. I got two of them. These are the same size as the two paintings I have um, back here behind me. So I'm really excited to start some new paintings here on these guys. Okay, so one of my goals for this year was really to start taking better care of my brushes. Um, I take okay care of them, but honestly, I could do a lot better. Um, I have some really cool materials that I use to help keep my brushes clean, uh, and I just got a bunch of new ones, so I will share those with you. Okay, so this here is Speedball Pink Soap, and I really like to use this as um, kind of like the finishing touch when I'm washing brushes. It's just a really wonderful brush cleaner. It, it'll work on with any kind of paint, but it does work with oil, which is why I like it. Um, and it just, it 
kind of leaves the brushes very soft and just feeling new at the end. Um, it's, it's like conditioner for your brushes, I feel like. Um, I will show you this because I do use other things to clean my brushes. Um, terpenoid, I would like to use this as I'm painting just to kind of rinse the brushes off as I'm, you know, switching colors or things like that. Um, sometimes if I have um, a brush that needs a little extra love, I'll let it soak in Gamsol. This is one of my favorites for cleaning brushes. But this pink soap here is really what I like is that like final touch to clean my brushes. Okay, another type of soap I like to use, this is more for your hands and not so much brushes, but this is called the Master Soap, and it's really great for getting oil paint and mediums off your hands. Um, I really have been using this since the dawn of time. I remember having this in my house as a kid. Um, so it's proven, it's proven that it works. Um, and it says it's good for other things like grease, ink, dye. So it's really just a good artist soap. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Okay, so this is something brand new. I've never tried this before. It's called a brush shaper. And it's basically supposed to bring the original shape back to your brushes. Um, brushes just get really messed up over time. You start getting bristles going every which way. Um, and it's great if you can kind of bring them back to life instead of buying new ones. So you basically soak your brushes in this and it should bring them back to normal. So I'm super, super excited to try this out. Okay, so that all being said, sometimes you do need to buy new brushes. Part of the reason I needed to buy new brushes this time is because I have a lot of paintings I'm working on all at the same time and they all have very different color palettes. So it's just kind of risky to be using the same brush on all these paintings that have such different colors. Okay, so the first new brush I got is the Blick Brand Mega Brush. This is a Filbert size 50, and then this is a size 30. Um, I already have two others of the size 50, um, and that's basically because I'm obsessed with this brush. This is basically what I've been using to blend my clouds and my skies really, really smooth. Um, it's a really, really soft brush. It almost feels like a makeup brush, and um, it's important, it was important for me to have a few of these because I like to use it as a dry brush. Um, it's easier to blend the colors when this is dry, so it's hard for me to just wash this every day and like switch back and forth between paintings. So I need to have a few going at once. But I'm so excited. I got new ones and I got a new size. I'm like seriously obsessed with these brushes. Okay, up next, these are also filberts. Obviously a lot smaller than the last ones. This is a size four and a size eight. Uh, Princeton brand filberts. I probably have more filbert brushes than any other brush. Um, unfortunately, I have a lot that I haven't taken very good care of throughout the years, so I needed to get a few new ones. But um, I actually love using these on my portraits. I find these really great for getting some of the details and blending um, on like the faces. Um, so I promise to take very good care of these new ones. Okay, so up next we have the liner brushes. So I am not scared of detail. I do a lot of details in my portraits and then these new cityscapes I've been doing. Uh, so these guys here, these are actually the exact same brush. Um, I actually destroyed the last one of these that I had in the last cityscape I did, so I needed to get a few new ones. But this is called a Princeton Select Petite Spotter. Um, and it's really good for doing small details on eyes, eyelashes, eyebrows, and then even like windows on cities and things like that. Um, so I absolutely love these. Okay, so up next we have the script liner brushes. So basically the difference between these and the spotter brushes is they have the much longer bristles. So they're good for like longer sweeping lines. Um, the reason I really like these is because they also have a really long handle. A lot of times uh, liner brushes have that short handle, but I prefer the long longer handle when I'm painting. Um, these are actually Bob Ross brands. Say what you will about Bob Ross and his paintings and his hair. Uh, his brand has been around for a lot of years and I actually really trust his liner brushes. Okay, so those are all my new supplies. I'm super excited to start using everything. I will see you next time on Painting Pretty with Kristen Lenart. Bye guys.